What's up guys, Nate Gould here, bringing you my driving review. I hope you guys enjoyed the Hangar 18, I love that map, it is so much fun to play. Uh, seriously, like, Hazard's my favorite map due to remakes, but just for playability, that's one of my favorite maps in Call of Duty as of right now. So, today we're looking at the drive-in. The drive-in's a pretty good map for objective. My favorite is, uh, is Domination, because the spawns do switch a little bit. And I kind of like that. I like if, you know, we push too far the spawn switch and stuff like that, but they have to keep moving for the objectives. They're not just sitting still. And uh, I like, you know, like demolition's fine, but it kind of just gets one-sided and they get stuck in one place and all you do is spawn camp, which is fun and I love doing it, but, you know, I like a little bit of challenge. I like to switch it up, plus I just like domination better. Demolition can be very frustrating when you're only playing with two people. But, uh, you know, we do what we can. I just get very lucky right here. So there's four vantage points, four main vantage points in this map. There's where I'm at right now, battling for my life. It's the, uh, I call it the movie screen. People call it a billboard, but, um, yeah, it's a, it's a drive-in. Why would there be a billboard where there's a, you know, they don't play the movies that are driving on a billboard. They play it on a movie screen, so, I don't know. People are interesting, that's all I'm going to say. So there's the movie screen, there's the building I just ran through, There's a you can get up there. You can get on top of the concession stand, and you can get on top of the projector room, which is directly across from the billboard. And uh, those are the main points. They get pretty annoying. Now, I don't do it in this game, but a pretty, or maybe I do, I don't remember. I don't do it in this half of the game, at least. A very useful part of this map is, on the right side, there's the white trailer that gets you between from the field in between, like, I guess you could call it the parking area, but that huge field where A is in between the projector room and the billboard where I'm looking at right now, there's that white trailer, not the one here, but the one across the field. And then there's that green dumpster. You can hop over the wall there, and it makes it really easy to avoid that building. And it kind of takes people by surprise. I like to jump up there, snipe a few people, jump down. And then while they're looking up there, I like to run through the uh, through the trailer and then snipe them and it actually worked out pretty I did it a few times yesterday and it works out pretty good so just a little tip for you but yeah this map's terrible for team deathmatch I hate it and I miss these sniper shots because I'm on a very low sensitivity and then I get knifed and it was just really embarrassing but whatever I go 39-4 I'll take it so yeah I don't even know I just got what's it called I just lost my train of thought so I'm trying to think. I played Sabotage on this. Um, sabotage, I mean, Sabotage is good on any map. Sabotage is such a great game type. So there's not really much to say about that. I haven't played Search. Team Deathmatch is terrible. Domination is awesome. So it's really just, I think it's an objective base. It's kind of like Silo. Silo is too big for Team Deathmatch because all the camping points, you just die, run all the way across map, die. Well, this one, it's so close, and there's all these camping spots that you die, spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn. So it's kind of the same thing, but instead of being too big, it's a little too small for Team Deathmatch um, with the vantage points that they put on there. And I don't think, I think the, what's it called, the projector building is a little, I mean, it's got a lot more, it's got a more open window, but it's got a lot more cover. Like, the walls are thicker than the projector. So I think it's definitely, like, this lobby, a lot of people camp, or the projector room, a lot of people camp in there, uh, set claymores and cover the stairs, and they really can last in there a long time, and I think it's kind of a, not really a fair, it's not really a, like a fair vantage point. I think it's a little bit better than all the other ones, to be honest. But, um, yeah, right there I'm sitting on a dumpster. I was trying to get Ninja Pro, so I was like, hmm. I was like, alright, I'll let this guy defuse it, but then I was like, mm, you know, I'm having pretty good gameplay. I think I should just review this for vid through, so. You guys interrupted my... What's it called? You guys interrupted my pursuit of ninja on my new account, but it's all right. I'll forgive you. <laughs> yeah, I choke a little bit here. A little bit of fail. I get nervous. Not really. I didn't get nervous, but I did fail pretty bad. I'm trying to think of what else is really... Oh, okay, so for the vantage points, let me just talk more about them. There's two ways to get there's two ladders to get up top on the lobby there's two stairways to get up top there's a ladder or just get up top of the projector there's a ladder on top of the concession stand and there's also a stairway inside and then the little tin building next to the uh, video screen is 
how can you get up there? There's a stairway, but you can also climb up debris uh, in the front of it. I don't know. This is just, there's not really much to say about this map. It's very small. It's a very basic setup. I mean, you got some cover. You got some vantage points. It's just, it's pretty fun and it's pretty fast paced. I didn't like it at first. I think it's one of those maps where you need to take, you need to get used to moving around the vantage points and taking advantage of the fl flanks and getting sniped when you're trying to pistol somebody. But all in all, it's pretty good. So, I mean, that's the end of the game, guys. Stay tuned for the next map. Who knows what it will be, and I will talk to you later.